Before this video starts, I wanted to quickly announce that I have launched a new shop update. I have got lots of new prints in my shop, new stickers, and I'm also offering lots of A3 sizes now. I've been wanting to do A3 for ages and I've recently, I, I, I bit the bullet, I'm now doing A3 prints. So everything that I used to sell A4, I now sell as A4 and A3. So I've got that update as well as like I said, loads of new prints and stickers. So I will link my shop in the description if you fancy a nosy at what I sell. <laughs> okay, on with the video. Hello, welcome back to another video. This is a daily vlog I've chosen today of all days to film. This is the view behind my desk now. <laughs> so get used to it, I've recently moved. So this is video number two in this environment. So I think this is the first time you're seeing um, my kitchen it'd probably be a regular occurrence now i've decided to film today because i feel like i've got quite a few interesting tasks to do so it should be a good video so it's currently half 10 i started work at half nine um and i've just been doing admin i've done an hour of admin responding to emails i had to transfer the money from my patreon account into my bank account i had to Oh, I made a to-do list. I've updated my Milanote to-do list. So I'll show you that now and I'll talk you through everything I need to do today. Oh my God, there's a puppy. There's a little puppy. Oh, it's so cute. Right, today I've got dance at seven. So looking forward to that. Um, but first, I'm filming a daily vlog, responding to emails. Hold, hold on, tick that one, done that. I'm making an original collage for a top tier member, Sophie. Um, and then I'm gonna edit prints. The prints in question are these. I'll show you them properly in a second, um, but I've made loads of art these past couple weeks and I need to, you know, get them in a digital form so I can make prints of them. And then I need to prep for Patreon because it's currently that day right there, the 30th of October, which means at the end of every month or at the start of every month, prints get sent out. This month's Patreon print is, that's this month's Patreon print. I already have the file sorted, so I need to just print, I don't know how many are on the tier, 60 maybe? And also make the thank you note for those prints as well. These are the pieces of art. I'm not gonna get all of these edited today because it's honestly, getting these edited is gonna be such a big job because there's a lot of white in the background. This one won't be too bad because that's kind of one block solid shape to cut around. But when it's like this with lots of white, I probably will end up having to cut around every individual element and then getting like a solid white background. So I'm really not looking forward to that, to be honest. Therefore, the shop update I'm gonna be doing at the start of November. So I'm gonna make prints of these two, like a little cute set of A4 and A3 prints. This is gonna be next month's Patreon print. So actually I probably should say, this is next month's Patreon print if you would like this. Pledge to my little snips tier at any point before the end of this month and you will get this print in the post. And then I've got these three, which are little commissions which I need to send off. But before I send them, I'd like to get good pictures of them, you know, just so I have pictures of them because um, at the moment I just have pretty bad pictures of them so I'd like some nicer ones. So that's all the art I need to edit. I'm not going to do it all today but I'll start it. This video is probably going to be quite chill in comparison to my other videos which are very very art heavy, a little bit more slow paced, a little bit more just kind of talking to the camera um, but if that's not your kind of thing watch any of my other videos. They are very jam-packed with art footage. This obviously is just what I do in one day as a full-time illustrator. Okay, I need to make some art then. So I did a bit of sketching and now I've gone through my little folder of paper and I have selected appropriate colours. 
I'm gonna see if I can make the collage from just everything that I've got out here. I might have to grab some more paper from my bigger folder, but I'm hoping this should be everything I need. This is one of the reference images. I'm kind of merging two reference images together. So this is one of them. And then there's this picture as well. So I'm gonna try and incorporate those stones into the bigger scene of this. I don't really know where to start, to be honest. It's always slow starting a collage. Found some really good bits of paper though, which are perfect. Like I've, the whole scene is like these yellow flowers in grass. So I found some green with yellow splatters on. So that, that's, those are some pretty good pieces. And then there's lots of purple flowers as well. I'm just gonna shuffle some papers around for a while until something eventually clicks. <laughs> So after I had my very exciting dinner of tomato soup, uh, I don't know, I'm doing this voiceover like a week after I filmed this video, so I'm guessing I had my dinner at 12 o'clock, that would be a sensible time. After I had my dinner, I packed some orders, had a few orders to pack, and went to the post office. Luckily the post office is really, well I don't even go to the post office, I go to the post box, which honestly is about a two minute walk away, so very convenient actually. And it's a large letter post box, so it means that because I, I, um, I recently moved house and where I used to live, I had to go inside to post large letters because the post box wasn't big enough. But now I, I basically, I can just put everything in the post box. But I used to joke that the, the man at the post office was like my closest thing to a work colleague because he's the only person I kind of ever speak to for my job. So now I don't even have that anymore. <laughs> anyway, I had a nice walk. Autumn. Autumn leaves looks nice and sunny. Okay, and then after I packed some orders, I got straight back to that collage I was working on. And to be honest, I did this so long ago now. Like I mentioned, I filmed all this probably over a week ago now. I don't even, time has passed so quickly. It's probably more like two weeks ago. So I can't really remember what I was thinking and the, what was happening in my mind. So I will leave you with some music for a while and I come back and do some real time talking whilst I collage for a bit. I'm getting close to finishing this now, just a few finishing touches, uh, which I thought I would do real time. This has taken a little bit longer than I was hoping it would. It's now four o'clock, so I'll probably finish this, let's say, let's be hopeful, in 15 minutes time. Um, I'm planning on stopping work around 6.15, so I've not got much time to complete all my other tasks, so we'll just see what I can manage to get done in the time. As soon as I finish this, I'm going to start printing stuff. I mean, I could have had stuff printing now, I suppose, whilst I've been... I don't... hold on. Let me cut this down. I could have been printing now whilst I was doing this, but... I mean, I'm not in a mad rush to get these prints done. I probably will send them out in a few, a few days time, but it's just uh, just nice to have them already printed. So I'm going to get printing stuff whilst I am editing pictures to turn into prints. I really love these little rocks. I feel like they, 
they bring the piece to life. Without them, I feel like the, the piece looks a bit plain, but as soon as these rocks went in, it kind of brought the whole piece together. And my issue with this collage is I feel like it's too many similar shapes all next to each other here. Um, I just felt like it was a bit plain, so then I was thinking, how can I break apart this? And also, like, it's too dark, this area, so I needed a light shape to break it up. So I thought, well, if I bring in, like, a big piece like that, maybe not quite that big, I might trim it down a little bit, um, and kind of, I'll have to do some peeling up, because this is all stuck down now. I don't know whether to go there, so you can still see that dark bit, or to go right up to the edge, so then you can't see it. And then I was going to bring back my little pink semicircle and stick it back on top. I think I'm just going to try and add a bit more pink to this side. Do like a little path maybe? What would I cut the path out of? What path colours do I have? That's quite path-like I suppose. Maybe just, I mean this might not look very good but at least let me try it. It's just like a thin little path in the... Oh yeah! Just something to break apart this big solid bit of green. So I'll stick that down. Oh, I might do another path coming off of my path. It's the tiniest bit of dark green to imply like a cluster of trees. Right, maybe there's a bit of trees back there. That's quite nice. Let me just cut a better one. I didn't like that one. Right, I might do add a few more bits and bobs, but I will do some finishing shots of it now and whatever that looks like is the finished thing. Okay, it's five o'clock now and I've started to get printing. The printer is whirring off in the distance, so excuse the noise. I've just trimmed all of this paper to be A4 because you can only buy it in packs of A3, which is annoying, because you used to be able to buy it in A4, but A4 has been out of stock for about a year, so I'm just assuming they're not doing A4 anymore. Um, so I have to trim it all down. And then after they come out the printer, I trim it down again to make the finished print, like an A5 print. Really happy with how these turned out. Super nice quality. So they're wearing off in the distance. I don't really have to do much work with them. It's just occasionally I cut them in half. Um, and now I'm going to work on getting the edited version of this. I'm going to try and scan it, see how that looks. But I might also try taking pictures of it. Sometimes when I scan, I really like the way it looks. And sometimes I prefer the way it looks when you take a picture. That'll be a big job. And I'll just be attending to the printer as of and when it needs attending to. Check out this uh, printer to printer connection just so I could scan. The wires are also short, so the only way I could scan is, is by doing this awkward setup here. So I've been sat under my desk doing some scanning. I think the scan turned out all right, actually. This is gonna look so bad, the footage is gonna be so grainy because I'm currently under a desk with bad lighting. <laughs> but that's how the scan turned out. It needs a lot of editing to look like the actual thing, but I'm quite happy with that. I'm gonna try and take a picture of it as well, just to see which I prefer, and then it'll be much easier to edit the scan. Yeah, the picture will be a lot harder to edit, but if it looks better, it looks better. But uh, you know what? I reckon the scan's gonna be the one I use. Cause I can look how much I can zoom in. I scanned it at 600 DPI, which that's that's a lot of dpi age. cause then you have the option to scale it up if you want to, like down the line. Anyway, I'm gonna get out from under my desk and edit this. <laughs> Thank you. 
so Patreon prints have been printed, there's 62 here which should be enough and I've been working on this, getting the edited version of this piece of art ready. So this is the scanned version which looks really good um, but then this is the photographed version which looks less good um, because to be honest I didn't really have very good lighting. Um, I took multiple pictures and then stitched them together on Photoshop using the file automate photo merge. Yeah it's not the best, maybe I should try and take pictures during the day. Now the issues I'm facing is I feel like this has a lot of contrast which in some places I really like, like the door, if we compare the door of the photograph to the door of the scan. I feel like the, the, the scans lost a lot of the texture which is kind of actually on the, the real door. So if I could find like, if there was a perfect middle between this which has got way too much contrast and this which doesn't have enough then then that would be perfect to be honest but I'm gonna I'm probably just gonna stick with the scam and see what I can do with it because obviously you can try and up the contrast just in Photoshop but then that ups the contrast of everything I just want to contrast add more contrast to the door so I'm gonna have to go in and um, select individual elements and then and then edit them on their own it's just kind of what you have to do when you want to get something to look exactly like it does in real life but on a screen no matter even if you're taking pictures of it or taking scans it's never going to look 100% like it actually looks so there's always work that has to be done anyway as you can see if we look at the clock it's getting pretty late All right, I need to start getting ready for dance I go dance at seven o'clock do a bit of Latin I hope we do jive today because we've been doing um, cha-cha for the past few weeks so it'd be nice to do jive because that's my favourite. I'm going to meet my boyfriend there because we go together. Um, he works pretty close to dance though so it's just easy for him to go straight from work to dance. Um, so I'm going to get my helmet on, get on my bike and then uh, ride to my dance class. I might stop occasionally whilst I'm riding because it's I have the dance class it's in like the centre of Oxford which is quite pretty so but it's also dark so I don't know how much you'd even be able to see but if there are nice views and the footage is good enough I will show you a little bit of the view on my bike ride obviously I'm going to stop the bike get onto the pavement and film I'm not going to film on my bike because that would be irresponsible and by the time we come back and have food it's like half nine so I'm probably not going to get much else done um, and I'm also trying to have a better work-life balance these days um, since I've moved here that's been going pretty well I've been stopping work in the evenings and I've been having I have Saturdays completely off and then I do a little bit of work on Sundays but not that much um, and that's been it's been good because I used to not really have breaks <laughs> at all I'd have the occasional day off here and there but I would work into the evenings and I'd work um through the weekends so i'm being better about that now since i've moved here so i'm gonna get ready and go to dance now so hopefully we're doing jive fingers crossed for jive and here's some very grainy footage of my bike ride and also the end of this video after we got back from our dance class it was basically the end of the day we just had tea and watched a bit of tv went to bed so there you go that was my full day very realistic what I get up to in a two what I get up to in a day where I actually have a break in the evening and don't work until going to bed, which is what I used to do, but now I have a good work life balance. Great. Um anyway, don't forget about that shop update if you want to have a nosy at it. And that's all from me. Goodbye.